This is Andy here. Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert, well, do the software conversion so you can use an old APC in order to, um, you know, uh, use it in conjunction with uh, 18 to 650 batteries. It seems like I I can do almost any vo any um, voltage. I can even do 8S. Um, let's see. I don't know if I can do 9S. The max that um, this program will let me do, I think, is somewhere around 31. 31.8, I think, is the max. So I think you could do between 8S all the way down to anything on these old APCs. So if you have one of these guys, uh, this is what you need to do in order to run it in 7S. Alright, so you need Hyper Terminal, and I had to use an old Windows XP laptop. Uh, that was um, Andy Ham is letting me borrow, so thank you again for letting me borrow it. This is a special uh, COM1 uh, RS-232 cable made by APC. It's very specific. You need one of those or you need to make your own. Okay, so let's go through this quickly. Uh, these are the websites you'll need. I'll have them linked in the description since my handwriting is quite messy. So this is the important one. This one has some information. So this is the YouTuber and this is the YouTube video. Alright, part 8 is what you're looking for, UPS to 1.5 kilowatt sine wave inverter. So you watch that video and at 6 minutes and 53 seconds is when he starts talking about how to use hyper terminal. So this is in order to make your own COM1, APC COM1 uh, adapter, this is what you need to do. Okay, And these are all the command, command lines. So we're only going to be focusing on what we need. This is the other website. He had some interesting information, but it wasn't incredibly useful. And this is the YouTube video that I watched in order to figure out how to do this. Okay, so you need Hyper Terminal. That's an absolute must. And you'll do new, we're going to go through this quickly, but basically new connection, I call it administrator, you can do it anything. Connect using COM1, configure it to be 2400, 8, none, 1, none. So wait about a minute, then, so shift R turns it off, shift Y turns it on. You need to put shift Y, so after you've connected and configured and it says connection, you have to press shift Y and it'll it'll say to you SM. That means it's ready to go. Press shift B and that'll tell you what the current battery voltage is. Press 1, wait a little bit, then press 1 again, it'll say program. Then you hit sh shift B and it'll say it'll tell you the battery float point. So that's the max voltage it'll bring it up to. And you use the negative and the shift plus in order to bring the value up or down, it'll spit back a hexadecimal value, but you don't actually need to do it. You just have to keep changing it and pressing enter and then checking again by pressing shift B in order to figure it out. And then you hit enter to save your final voltage. So I've done this a few times now to get comfortable with it. I had to, in order to get this thing to work initially, I had to build an 8S battery pack out of 18650 so this is 8s and I had to plug it in have it charged up it has to be a high enough voltage before it'll be happy so let's uh, disconnect and then restart all right let's switch here it doesn't like the autofocus well let's open up hyper terminal okay and then we're going to call it shift B administrator hit OK now you're going to switch it to connection type COM1, hit OK. Now it's going to ask you these. So the only one you have to change, for me anyways, is float control, set none, hit apply, hit OK. Now it'll say down here, if it'll ever focus, connected. Okay, so now what you have to do is press Shift Y 
Oh, now it's way out of whack. Shift Y. There we go. Now it's started. Okay, so now Shift B. Alright, this is the current voltage that it thinks it sees, which is incredibly wrong, but whatever. So right now, 29.16. Now press 1. Wait a bit. 1. There we go. Program. Now Shift B. 29.16. Alright, cool. And if you just press normal B, that's the firmware number. So don't worry about that. You can't mix it up by accident. Alright, so that now shift positive, hit enter, shift B, there we go. For some reason I'm having trouble keeping it at this. Alright, it wants to keep it down at 29 point whatever. Right, let's try it once more. Enter. Shift B. 29.43. Okay, pretty simple. Enter. NA. Now press Shift and R. And it'll say goodbye. So now it's done. Our connection has been not terminated, but um, this thing has seen it and said okay. So that's all you have to do. That's uh, that's how simple it is, right? You just need to get a computer with hyper terminal, and you need a specific COM1 uh, for these old APCs, anyways. And now it's reading pretty much 100%. We can check the battery light battery percentage by pressing F. Oh, but first we have to turn it back on with Y Shift Y. Now it's awake. So Shift Y turns it on. Now press F, 100%. So it thinks it's at 100% right now. We are reading at 28.7, so that's wrong. Let's see, uh, 29.4. Okay, let's try one, one. All right, we're in program. Shift B, 29.4, okay. So that's good, it's still seeing everything just fine. Now F, 100%, alright, and then Shift, R, goodbye, done, okay, and then disconnect, right up there, disconnect, boom, and you are done, disconnected. So that is how you reprogram, pretty simple, there's lots of other commands, there's lots of other things you can change, you can do a lot of modifications, but this video was only to talk about how to change it, change the uh, floating voltage. And we have done that, so that's uh, that's all of that done. And yeah, same as up here, pretty simple. This is uh, very simple actually. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope, uh, I hope this uh, clarifies anything you were looking for. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Have a good day.